Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dimwits and Doppelgangers. Uh, so today, I'm doing a bit of a unique episode. We are going to be doing some dungeon design in the GIMP uh, software. So if you don't know how to download GIMP or what GIMP is, it's basically like sort of Photoshop, but for free, so you don't have to pay for it. Um, if you want to download GIMP, I will give you a link in the description for where you can download it, and I think you can figure it out from there. If not, uh, find another YouTube video to learn how to download GIMP. But anyways, once you have GIMP, <clears throat> what you want to do is you're going to go up here to File, up in the corner, click on that, and click New. Right? It'll give you this little thing, and you're going to go up to Template, and go down to 4K UHD Template. Okay. You're gonna click OK. So there you go. See, it made a new one. We don't need it, so I'm just gonna exit there. And you'll have a template about this size. Now, to turn on the grid, which I already have, you're going to go to Image, click Configure Grid, and I have mine set to 120 because of the the pixels on the grid. That makes it a perfectly even uh, grid size on the map. And so you're gonna do that, and then click OK and then hit up here to view, go down to snap to grid and click X on that so that you see the little X there in the corner. And again on show grid up here so you see it in this corner. Click and it'll look like this if you've clicked the right sizes and such. Uh, so first I'm gonna show you how to draw basic structures within a dungeon map. And then I'm gonna draw you a little, uh, a little practice dungeon over here just to show you how it works. So first up we're gonna go to here this is a wall, okay? So you're gonna go on size, you're gonna make it a 15 pixel size, and then click on this guy, paintbrush tool. Then you'll hit the button once, click. Oh, it's selected on the wrong one. So you go over here and reselect the background. Click, shift, you're gonna hold shift, see how it makes this little line here? And you're gonna go over here and click again. It was just two clicks. It was was click shift click so that would be oh I forgot to input all these uh, hold on I'll be right back okay so we're back I drew all those now we're gonna go to doorway so you're gonna want to make sure this is a 15 and you're gonna go click shift click and then again click shift click you do that with these guys too it doesn't have to be lined up in the corners perfectly, but you want it along the line. That's why we clicked Snap to Grid. See how it just kind of follows along this guy. Um, so that's your door frame. And now we're going to go over here and scroll down until that guy gets to 5. And you're going to click, shift, and then click again to there. And you've got a just a regular old doorway, a single doorway. Now we're going to go for a double doorway. Back to 15. We'll do the same thing, but only halfway out. And then with this, you're gonna sh sh click, and then hold Shift and Control at the same time. You see how it how it makes it stay on a certain axis and angle. You'll click it to there, and do the same with this guy. And then we're gonna go back down to five, just to show that this isn't a wall; it's a door. Hold Shift to about halfway this guy hold shift and control so it stays at a good angle and go out to about there and there you go you have a double door now and it's signified as a double door because there's look at that there's two doorways now we'll go for a locked door or a barred door um, you'll make your doorway once again And then you will go back down to five, as we've been doing. Make it just make a regular doorway and go like this. Make two little lines across it. Now the door is either barred or locked. And if you want it to be really look like it's been barred, you can put another line here by shift controlling and showing which side is barred off. So then we're gonna draw now a secret door. Now for a secret door, you can either do this, um, make just these without the door frame sticking out, 
and go to 8, which is closer to 15, and just draw a straight thing across. If you want it to be fairly secret for your players, you know, they might think, oh, that's just, just a mishap in his art or something, but really it's actually a secret door. Or you can draw this little S here just so you can remember by shift and control. Click, 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 click. And to signify that it is a secret door. Now, that's a better S. That one's sad. So, next up is stairs. 15 again. And what I like to do is I draw my first line here. And then I will draw my next line going out to here at a good angle. Then you will draw here to here by just shift clicking again. And these guys shift control clicking. So if you click, then hold shift and control, and then click again. And you've got your stair. And then I always draw this little guy at the top by shift control clicking to signify that that is the way up. Arrow points up. So you can see it also looks like you're looking from above. The stairs are getting smaller because they're getting farther away because they slope downward. And then if this is inside of a building, which it will usually be, or inside of a stairwell, you can put a wall around it like this to signify that it's just kind of dropping down to there. And then here we have two intersecting hallways. So if you have a multi-level dungeon and you want one hallway to be above another hallway, you're going to put the top hallway first. And I usually build dungeons from the top down if they're multi-level. Okay, so there you have your, your little crossed hallway. Now finally, I've got a couple of props that you can put in your dungeons easily. Uh, the first one is footprints. If you want your characters to be tracking something through a dungeon, or just notice that there has been something in this dungeon previously, you can just do that. Make a little triangle by shift-clicking and put a little dot at the end. I know it looks like a rabbit's foot, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, click, shift-control, click, shift-control, click, shift-control, trick, click footprints here we have a little loot chest which is always fun for your players because once they see that they're like oh we gotta go get that thing so shift control and you don't want this to be all the way in the corners otherwise it looks like a you know giant giant chest and then we'll do click shift control here and one little dot in front to show there's the lock so there is your chest and finally, puddles of liquid. So what you'll do is you'll click on it somewhere and then just shift click around however you want it. Do a puddle of liquid and then do a little line through and a dot just to show that it's kind of shiny. Just a just a puddle of liquid. That looks like a sad face, like it's crying, you know, eyes and tear and a mouth anyways there you have all your props in the dungeon and so now we are going to create our own mini dungeon in here okay so i will start over here at the entrance so i'm thinking this one is going to be built kind of into the wall of a cliff so i'll make something like that and another one right here just kind of hiding the entrance okay there's our entrance to our dungeon now we're going to make um a doorway Okay, we're going to go down to five. I'll make a little doorway, and this guy will be an unlocked doorway, like it's an old mine shaft entrance or something. Back up to 15 so we can paint more walls. And actually, I'll just do walls for now and then fill in stairs and other things later. Um, so first, we're going to go into a chamber. So here's the room, path to the room. Okay. how this works there you go path to the room and you're gonna make a little room kind of boxy shaped you know, just a three by four that's a 15 by 20 foot room not a very big room not a very small room so just a good sized room um, and actually what we're gonna do is I'm going to make this room uh, below grade so I'll put stairs starting at the very top of this floorway doorway there 
and I'll just fill it in with stairs. And to undo, you just hit Control and then Z, and it'll undo anything. And to redo, Control Y. Just, just a good tip for you guys to know because mess ups happen <laughs> frequently. Okay, so we got a little hallway going below grade, and now so that means this room is now below this room in 3D terms. Um, so we've got this, and then what you can actually do is put an eraser and erase spots if you want to put doorways there. You know, things like this. It does leave a little line, so I would suggest just knowing where your doorways are before you do things like that. So let me just let me just make some doorways, and I'll be right back. Okay, there's our double door there, and I'm gonna make a secret door right here, just so the players kind of have to look for it if they want to. Uh, like, not the players, but the characters have to investigate if they want to find it. The players will obviously be able to see this big S unless you just decide not to put it there. Okay, so there's your our first room. And let's build off this hallway first, and then we will build the little secret room next. Uh, so what we're going to do is I will make a, yeah, a 15 foot wide hallway that kind of narrows down to here. And I want that back to 15. There. And I'll make a door here, and this door is going to be locked. So we'll go down to five. And I'll say not barricaded, just locked, so I'll just put this guy like this. You know? Locked doorway. Back up to 15. And maybe we'll put another room, just kind of like the original one here. Going here to here. A little more like this. Just some things, you know. I'm just joking. Right okay, there's that. And I'm going to make a door now here to you. Five. Okay, so we have our first two rooms of our dungeon. Um, now, we will make 15 again. And do a little hallway going down like this. We'll make it exactly halfway. Here to here, and here to here. So now it's the same width as the doorway. Um, now what we're going to do is I'll make a stairwell going down. And I'll just have it narrow right here into the stairwell. Now I'll have it go like this. And we'll turn a corner at the end. forgot up here to do our little up arrow but since there's a door right there we can put the up arrow right at the end of the stairwell Ta -da. now for this guy put it like this perfect and fill in the stairs So let's continue down this little corridor we have created. Mm, let's make it end abruptly here. And then we'll put another doorway and this one will be unlocked. Okay, now we're gonna work on this secret tunnel. Let's make the secret tunnel go down a flight of stairs instantly. And we will have it turn a corner right here. Actually, I think I'll go one more with that. And then this one will go underneath this set of stairs. 
Okay, so as the stairs are sloping, this one kind of just ducks beneath it. Ah! And we'll have it enter the room at the same time. So, now we're going to plan out another room right here. And this one will be wider than our original rooms. Bigger. It's like a boss battle room. And I'll make another secret door. Because we want this whole hallway to be fairly secretive. Okay, secret doorway and regular doorway. Now I'm going to make this, so go up to this color bar here where I'm at, click on the front one, and I've already got some grays set up, but what you can do is stay on black and then just drag it around down to gray. And we want a fairly dark gray, charcoal. And I'm going to make a little dais, podium. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay, there is our little podium and I made it gray to show that it is not a wall it is inside the building and we'll make a black one again and finish it off with a box of goodies and I realized that I'm drawing with a 8 pixel which actually makes the chest look a little bit more realistic and less giant and block like um, I think that's pretty good for a dungeon, besides, um, let's put some footprints, because we can. Okay, some footprints, and there is our first, uh, get, get right, there we go. First dungeon episode for camp. Hope you guys enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.